Do you ever feel like life is full of unending obstacles blocking your path to success? Are the lingering challenges pointless and discouraging? Well, if so, we can look at the inspiring work of Kurt Richter for a solution. So during his really gruesome 1950s experiment with domesticated and wild rats, Richter showed us just how much potential lies within each of us, even if in the face of extreme adversity. Through this research, he demonstrated that science could offer insight into an intangible emotion, hope. In today's video, we're going to explore what these lab rats taught us about hope and how it can be pressed into actionable tactics for high performers looking to launch their personal and their professional goals. So in the 1950s, Kurt Richter, a remarkable scientist, conducted a fascinating yet gruesome experiment that demonstrated the power of persistence and determination in overcoming adversity. Using domesticated and wild rats as subjects, he threw them into a swimming tank, actually a jar half filled with water. Initially, one might have expected the wild rats being more accustomed to adverse conditions to outlast their domesticated counterparts. However, what transpired during the experiment was really inspiring. The domesticated rats swam for a significantly longer period, sometimes up to 60 hours before succumbing to uh, exhaustion and unfortunately dying. But what could, what could explain this difference? Well, upon further examination, it seemed apparent that while the wild rats had likely faced numerous adversities in their lives, it was the domesticated rats enduring faith in their caretakers and sub subsequently themselves that kept them persevering against all odds. And to prove this further, he tweaked his experiment a little bit and he took other similar rats and put them in the same jar with water. Just before they were going to drown, he picked them up, held them for a little while, and then he put them back in the jar with water. And Richter wrote that in this way, the rats quickly learned that the situation is not actually hopeless. And the rats that had the brief reprieve with Richter the rats swam much longer and lived far longer than those that were not plucked out of the water by Richter. He wrote that after elimination of hopelessness, the rats did not die. Now this powerful lesson from Richter's experiment serves as a reminder that motivation, belief, and really hope can greatly impact our ability to face challenges and to fight against the tide of adversity, which is so prevalent around us now, especially if you're in medicine. Redefining hope in our lives is an essential uh, task in recognizing our true potential and believing in our ability to overcome challenges. Often we tend to look for hope outside of ourselves, waiting for the world to grant us our wishes. However, with this, the power of hope rises from within ourselves and it is our most significant ally on the journey towards um, high performance and achieving our dreams. Embracing hope means nurturing our unwavering belief in our capabilities, accepting the setbacks that occur, and finding the strength to keep moving forward. By altering our perspective on hope, we allow ourselves to be more resilient in the face of adversity, instilling a sense of empowerment and fostering the determination to forge our own path in life. This shift in thinking paves the way for endless possibilities and drives us to becoming the driving force that shapes our own destiny. Now we have to challenge these thoughts, so we have to challenge our thoughts and to really explore new paths. Because embracing the audacity to challenge your thoughts and explore new paths is an exhilarating endeavor that ignites the infinite potential residing within each of us. Emboldening, emboldening your mind to question what you know and sail into uncharted waters unlocks a myriad of possibilities eliminating illuminating the untrodden avenues for growth and self-improvement. By fostering a spirit of insatiable curiosity and courageously facing the unknown, you gift yourself with the power to evolve beyond the confines of this limiting belief that may be in your head and these self-imposed restrictions. As you continue to dare the boundaries of your comfort zone and cultivate resilience, you become a testament to the boundless nature of human potential inspiring others to follow in your footsteps and challenge their own limitations. So let the beating of your heart be your compass as you boldly venture forth, transcending previous limitations to forge a future that is uniquely your own. But don't forget to change, uh, change takes time. 
It's essential to remember that real and long-lasting change doesn't happen overnight, but it requires patience, it requires time, but most importantly, an unwavering spirit of perseverance. So as we journey through life facing various obstacles and challenges, our growth and progress may sometimes appear to be slow and even stagnant. However, it's crucial to remain steadfast and committed to our goals despite the hurdles we encounter. Embrace the process of transformation as it is an opportunity to learn and develop resilience. When the going gets tough, be gentle with yourself and understand that every step forward, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant, is a victory in and of itself. Remember, progress is a continuous and a gradual progress a process, just like the blossoming of a beautiful flower. Keep pushing forward and trust the incredible power of time and steadfast, uh, steadfast perseverance to bring about the change you yearn for your life. Now, Carl Richter's 1950s experiment with domesticated and wild rats has taught us much about our own adaptability. Not only can individuals become accustomed to living in new environments, but we also find that there is always hope for those who try. It's vital not only to face challenges head-on, but to also try new paths. Adapting to change doesn't come easily, but it does come with perseverance and resilience. Quality is found both in wild rats and humans alike. All things considered, the fate of domesticated versus wild rats traces back to our desire and our ability to fight for a better future together. The experiments of Carl Richter have served as a powerful reminder that if we remain hopeful and work together, anything is truly, truly possible. So I hope you enjoyed today's morning rounds, my friends. And if you need a little bit more, if you're looking for ways to break through the stagnation that may be going on in your personal or your professional life, then reach out to me. I'm a certified high performance coach. Click the link right beside this video to learn more about what exactly is high performance coaching and how it can serve you reach that next level success. Make sure you hit that link, get on my calendar for a free one hour strategy session tailored specifically for you. But until next time, have a great morning and I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning for another morning rounds before your morning rounds. Have a great day. We'll talk then.